वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज प्राची शर्मा एंड टुडे इज द थर्ड इंटरव्यू ऑफ द करियर गाइडेंस सीरीज आवर गेस्ट फॉर टुडे इज युवराज हु जस्ट कंप्लीटेड हिज बीए एलएलबी एंड इज वर्किंग एज अ लीगल कंसलटेंट इन बेंगलोर सो लेट्स कनेक्ट विद हिम एंड फाइंड आउट हाउ हिज ग्रोथ कर्व हैज बीन सो फार एंड व्हाट मेड हिम इंक्लाइंड towards this particular field so let's get started hi yuvraj welcome to our channel uh, kindly introduce yourself so that our audience can get an idea about your background and how your journey got you to be a legal consultant today um, well my name is yuvraj shanoria i'm working as a legal consultant in a company named better place in bangalore uh, before that i started my law studies from school of law christ university bangalore uh, where i did five year of law course uh, generally they are ba and lb mm-hmm. before that i finished my high school from dav model school chandigarh mm-hmm. uh, with humanities in as a major i am okay so uh, what subjects you had in 11th grade uh, i studied history political science legal studies mm-hmm. physical education and english okay and your course is uh, ba llb yeah right so what is the major difference between ba llb and bba llb uh i would say ba llb if you uh, read the definition so it's basically on a business uh, sorry ba llb is administrative work where you get to know about the government government pillars their organizations they are working uh, how the three sectors of the government works mm-hmm. uh, judiciary legislature and executives but when you go to the bba llb it's more of an accounting perspective so you handle the companies working and all how companies uh, accounts and business and all those things work so is a slight difference but it's generally depend upon the choice i think Uh, at the end of the student day. Okay, okay. Um, so I have an, an interesting question for you, and I'm sure a lot of students would have that in mind. So, uh, was being a legal consultant your ultimate aim, or was this your plan B? Uh, no, it was. I would say a legal consultant as a position was never uh, came to my mind. Uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah being a law student was my like uh, was an idea uh, i had a fair glimpse when i was in 8th standard uh, gradually it was nurtured by my parents mm-hmm. and i think by the end of my 10th grade my parents guided me they sat with me and all they told me the possible opportunities i also did a little bit of research and gradually it leads me to the law school. uh uh-huh, that's interesting because i think um very rarely parents support for an offbeat career and that too from such an early age generally parents uh, say that okay do till 12th take science and then we figure out but i'm really happy for you that they actually you know guided you since 8th grade onwards i think uh, in this way i would say uh, i'm blessed and at the same time it's ironical from others parents perspective because right. uh my parents are the first one who told me that to a kind of like to give me a ray of hope or a path for me to for the law correct so they are the one who told me to give a look think about it they they want me to give a, a little bit more research and talk to my seniors mm-hmm. and all and uh, i think they have they are the backbone for me i think that is amazing that's amazing i hope all the students get that lucky as you are so <laughs> So, what is the process to get in BA LLB, and what are the top colleges in India for this course? Um, BA LLB, I think it's uh, generally people, uh, once you uh, pass your tenth grade, uh, it's better. I, I'm not saying uh, that's the only way, but it's better if you make your mind mm-hmm. in the tenth after tenth only, and you choose the subject wisely for your eleventh and twelfth grade, mm-hmm. uh, so that it will help you. not directly but indirectly somewhere for the law school mm-hmm. since uh, i made my mind like uh, at From the end of my 10th yeah. so <laughs> yeah so i choose subjects accordingly for my 11th and 12th and uh-huh. accordingly so because once i studied history all science legal studies uh, to be very frank the, uh, i got a glimpse of what i will going to study in law school right right so right. it ended up covering no, i would 
doesn't say the whole thing but at least give it gave you an it uh, gave you an idea that this is going to come in the future yeah exactly mm-hmm. so for first semester second semester or i would say the third uh, third semester three semester of my law school i have already studied in my 11th and 12th grade right so that was that was quite easy for me to adapt to the new environment mm-hmm. and the campus also correct and uh, moving towards your uh, second question uh, regarding the colleges i would say uh, national law schools mm-hmm. uh, in india i think there are 17 or 16 law schools in india um you can get admission through common law admission test uh-huh. which is conducted by these universities only uh-huh. and uh, in the once in a year they conduct the exam uh, okay it's for the low entrance mm-hmm. and uh, it's like they are the prestigious institutes in india uh, ironically i didn't get into <laughs> <laughs> Okay so um when you say that you're a legal consultant what are your job responsibilities like like on a daily basis what do you work on when you get to the office um i would say uh, so the company's legal perspective so what whatever the company came to uh, in a legal point of view mm-hmm. let's suppose if uh, you want to join my company mm-hmm. so from your employment uh, contract to your termination to your uh is all these terms and agreements terms and conditions of the contract and at the same time uh there are different uh branches in the company all those legal contracts let's suppose if my company wants to enter into a contract with xyz company so mm-hmm. those contracts patents trademarks everything it covers a lot of uh, wide variety mm-hmm. and at the second if uh, my there is a file of a, there is a case file against my company, Mm-hmm. it could be civil it could be criminal it could be any mm-hmm. so those things also a uh, legal team will be responsible to handle that right, right right i think that's interesting like for a company to stand alone in the market and have all mm-hmm. the legal things um, you know yeah. and i think this also um, clarifies one thing that every single company does require a legal department i don't think any company can survive without a legal department no, 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 so no, that's, that's a great right. scope for this particular field right okay, so i uh, i always uh, like even to my juniors i always told one thing that once you uh, study law don't think it from the perspective of that okay you want to get good score or you mm-hmm. want to uh, become one of the top most lawyer in india become a supreme court judge and all just uh, keep this in mind that law will going to teach you a lot mm-hmm. for every day perspective you learn a lot you know more than anyone else mm-hmm. so from a very scratch start then also you can uh, go to the high and sky is always limit for you guys so mm-hmm. don't think like as a big that okay the moment you step out of the law school you become one of the top most lawyers so mm-hmm. that is not going to happen uh-huh. but yeah you learn a lot every day right law is something which you uh, ended up into every day is work and all so mm-hmm. uh, i think law is a very good subject i think that is a very inspiring answer and it actually gives in depth in understanding of what this field is about which a lot of people really do not have an idea about so uh, thank you so much for that um my next question for you is what other choices of career do you get once you finish ba llb so i'm talking about like other than being a legal consultant what kind of uh, job roles you can enter into the very first i would say the traditional system of legal uh, we have like mm-hmm. we, uh, lawyers we ended up becoming advocates and we practice before the courts different courts we have uh-huh. in india uh-huh. uh, and the beauty is that once you register before bar council you can practice anywhere in india okay you just need nice. the license mm-hmm. for that okay a little bit more terms and conditions but yeah it's practice it's very beautiful that you can practice anywhere right uh, in comparison to different countries Okay. Right. Uh, second thing is you can even uh, join civil services. Mm-hmm. You can. That's a very easy for. I wouldn't say that uh, it's very easy, but I would say it give you an upper hand because you know the very in depth uh, of the law. Uh-huh. So when you appear for the civil services exams, it will be easy for you from the legal perspective because you have a very strong hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, say third, I would say you can appear for judiciary, serve the mm-hmm. nation by giving justice and providing. maintaining rule of law in the society uh-huh. providing speedy justice to the victims and uh, mm-hmm. culprits and all mm-hmm. and at the same time you can even offer uh, like you can go for higher studies in llm and after 
master's and PhD. With this, you can join any institution as a professor, assistant professor. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, recently, uh, I think uh, UGC passed a law that uh, for a professor, PhD is must. Okay. Okay. So, so after mm -hmm. LLM, also I think you need a PhD mm -hmm. for becoming a professor. Okay. And at the same time, you can uh, work with some. Coaching centers to provide uh, legal educations to the one who are in the U.S. position for the CLAT, who are preparing for CLAT. Right, 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 right. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a wide spread of uh -huh. It's not just traditional work, but right. it's a good one. And companies like me, in-house counsel or a corporate litigation offices, are there. Mm -hmm. So they, you have a plenty of these raw options. Yeah. Also. So I think since you have a five-year course, you can eventually figure out what interests you more. And accordingly, yeah. you can pick up your area of expertise and like go ahead with that. Yes, right. yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, if let's say when you completed twelfth grade, BA LLB was not a viable option, then what other courses you would have gone for? Um, since my subjects were very uh, related to administrative work, right? Like I said uh -huh. earlier, like uh -huh. history and pol science and right. legal studies. Mm -hmm. uh, if legal studies is not an option, then I will definitely go for history or pol science. Uh, okay. In, as a bachelor's and then as a master's. Okay. So may, going major in a particular choice yeah. of subject, yeah. right? And I would say at the same time, it gives me uh, again an upper hand for the UPSC exam preparation. Also. Of course, because yeah. If you are here for civil services exam, mm -hmm. uh, you should have a very strong hold on your politics and history part. Right. So since you have been studying it since you are high school till your graduation and post graduation uh, it will be an easy for you to prepare for the exam right right so um now i have an interesting question for you um if given a chance would you like to change any of your decisions in your career so far um i would say not uh, from the perspective of choosing law okay okay not. okay but yeah if I could have worked a little bit more, then uh, I might be at a better position or somewhere else. Uh, right. Or could have explored much more opportunities in law school. Uh -huh. But yeah, I will never regret studying law. <laughs> That's, I'm pretty much sure about it. Okay. I am glad that you actually love your field that much. So that's interesting to know. So um, now a question that I get a lot. Um, advocates are considered liars. Do you agree with that? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, uh, we all, uh, like, uh, we, we don't, Indians or any people generally, people don't have a habit of reading. They just uh, read the tagline and uh, ended up accepting that that's the thing. Right. But actually, it's not the thing. The, if you go to the in depth, you will realize uh, we interpret the law. Law is already being made by the legislation. And uh, people generally, the general people don't know what's exactly the law. They only know the one point that, okay, this is what uh -huh. is happening. Uh -huh. So they think that we are liars and all. But every case has every different situations, different circumstances, different facts. And even judiciary think in the same manner. Uh -huh. Because judiciary also have a responsibility to maintain peace and order and in the same time to provide justice. So they cannot treat everyone in the same manner. Uh -huh. So they try to provide justice in according to the facts and circumstances of the case. Mm -hmm. So, I think uh, lawyers play a crucial role by representing the situation in a way with what it exactly is or what happened in the past. Right. So, I think it's, it's just about interpretation. It's not about like we are liars. We, we are not liars. It's about <laughs> going in depth with the information and bringing out the facts yeah. which the general public is not aware of. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So uh, now let's say a PCM student or a commerce student is targeting BA LLB. So I have two questions with that perspective. The first, are they eligible? And the second, if yes, so do they ha do humanity student have an upper hand towards the CLAT exam, or is it like similar and you know it doesn't matter what field you come from? Um, I think uh, at the end. Uh will all depend upon the student but yeah there is no restriction that if a student studied PCM or any uh, commerce uh -huh. and all uh -huh. he can or he or she cannot appear they all can appear right right uh, but 
appearing before CLET, you have uh, different subjects like history, general knowledge, mm -hmm. English, mm -hmm. legal law, uh, reasoning, legal aptitude, and all. And if you prepare for the CLET, they will going to teach you. They will going to give you a little about all these things. They will going to even uh, give you some sample papers of past and all. Mm -hmm. So once you even like study two subjects, you will easily get into. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they they don't even. I wouldn't say that uh, hundred percent they don't have upper hand. No, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if you are studied and if you have a keen read in some reading and all, it will be uh, neglectable point of view. Right. It's like I have a classmate who who is a science student who studied science uh -huh. in his higher school, mm -hmm. and he's doing pretty much very well in uh, law school. He's like I would even frankly I would say he's one of the topper in our law school. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So he is doing very much better. So uh -huh. I have both the things. I at the same time studied humanities, and he at the same time studied something different. Right. But we are both on the same, same ground. Yeah. Same right. class. We are uh -huh. sitting in the same class and all. He is doing much more better than me, I would say. Uh huh. So yeah, there is no. I think. I think as you uh, once you make up your mind for a particular field, I think no matter what background you are coming from. You can put yeah. in enough effort to, you know, bring everything into a same lane for yeah, your target. Yeah. Yeah. So you I think I think that should be the case. So um, working as a legal consultant yourself, what does your future look like? Uh, I would say it's too early, but uh, yeah, I have like I have different options. I can uh -huh. even still working in the same company or different companies. Uh -huh. uh, Switching to executive, senior executive, or manager, legal managers, which comes with experience definitely uh -huh. uh, over the couple of years. Or I can even go back to my traditional methods of litigation. Okay. That also is an option for me. Okay. Or I can pursue my LLM and at the same time uh, I can go for the teachings with my PhD uh, uh -huh. side by side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I think uh, there is always an option for that. But uh, if I but like which comes with experience which comes with over the period of time mm -hmm. and uh, i think that will suffice yeah i think over the period of time as you work in a particular field you realize if you are able to see your future in it or not and then eventually you can take a u turn and you know direct yourself to a different side if you feel that you know it's not something you want to do for the rest of the life yeah yeah that, mm -hmm. that because one and unless you hadn't put your Use into that you won't realize what right. it actually mm -hmm. is. You can have uh, different people's perspective. You can have their ideologies and all their experiences and all, but uh, you don't know how it will going to hit you. Right. So I would say learn as much as you can if you are entering into the law school. Mm -hmm. It will give you plenty of opportunities. Mm -hmm. Explore it, learn it, try to implement it, and don't be uh, afraid of failures. That's right. Fail, I would say, uh -huh. uh, because they will tell you where you are lacking and how you need to improve and how much you need to put more effort to get where mm -hmm. you really want to be. Uh -huh. So this is one of the best thing I would say for mm -hmm. not just for the law but for every subjects uh, they give you. I don't about have other like major idea about other subjects, but yeah, for law, law schools give you a lot of opportunities. Right. I think that's an interesting piece of advice for the students. <laughs> <laughs> so I last, yeah. I'm sorry. I hope this will help them. This will definitely help them. I think students are worried about making mistakes and somebody telling them that it is important to make mistakes to learn from them. So I think that's a very interesting piece of advice. So my last question to you is what advice would you give students who are completing their 10th grade today but are still confused about what subjects to pick up in 11th? <laughs> I would say uh, before choosing a subject or before making a decision, mm -hmm. uh, read a little bit about all the options you have. Right. Uh, read all the opportunities you will be getting through those options. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, what opportunities you let's suppose what opportunities you can get through humanities or medical or non med or PCM commerce whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Read what subjects you will be choosing a little bit. I don't want you to go through all the books. Just just a glimpse of it, mm -hmm. um, and then 
what are the opportunities you will get through those subjects mm -hmm. and once you get a glimpse of all these things through research and all you can also uh, talk to your seniors mm -hmm. uh, those who have already read those subjects or who those who are into colleges and all universities or and who right. also placed also right. so this way you can get a very good and a practical fair idea about mm -hmm. uh, what your life will be because right. i think in my perspective 11th and 12th they are the most crucial one from someone's mm -hmm. uh, crucial and someone from the very uh, personal perspective and from the very your like your life perspective Correct. this Correct. is something which will be with you for the rest of your life right. so don't hustle up don't uh, make a decision on the basis of your friends or your girlfriends or whatever it is <laughs> right. not yeah the fun uh, like everyone sometimes thinking that my friend is doing the same way so i will also do the same no no okay. don't do that we all have different interests we all have different things we all want something different from our life Correct. so yeah so uh -huh. do a little bit of research uh -huh. sit with your senior sit with your parents and all they are the best guide right for you uh -huh. and they will always help you and at the same time you can even talk to the teachers your professors uh -huh. they are also one of the best guide right for you right i think that's something uh, some really uh, interesting information and i'm glad we had you on the channel today uh, because all the amazing answers and the interesting insights you have given about b l l b so any student who might be struggling with understanding this field will be a bit closer to uh, you know make their step towards this field because if they are even slightly inclined and slightly you know hesitant i think your answers would make it uh, more clear uh whether that is something they re really want to do <laughs> i even i hope that i make some sense and i might be able to help them so that will be a great for me also right thank you so much and um, i'm really it was a pleasure to have you here so thank you, thank so you much. once again pleasure is all mine yeah thank you so my wonderful students out there this is it for this interview to summarize this interview a little bit for you if you are really really interested in uh, understanding these subjects uh, which are related to law it's good and suggested to talk to your seniors and understand how their path is like look at those books in 11th and 12th grade and see is this something you really want to study and if you are really passionate about it then please do not stop yourself in selecting those subjects now the second thing how to get into the college for ba llb or bba llb you'll be going to attempt for an exam called clad and that exam is nationwide which will get you access for entrance uh, in majority of the major universities which offer these courses um another thing is that as you study this uh, course it is 5 year long course as you're in the course you can explore your choices and options depending upon which subjects you are more inclined towards and what kind of fields you are more inclined towards and eventually you can pave your path as you move along if you still have any questions about this particular field you can reach out to me either in the comment box below you can also write me an email at psclassesicsc@gmail.com you can also reach out to me on the telegram channel I hope this video was helpful for you and we will catch up in the next interview. So thank you so much students. I hope you have a wonderful day.